What's really going on, you guys? If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Really Kobe. So make sure y'all go ahead, subscribe, turn on y'all post notifications so y'all can be notified when I drop all new videos. And you know, just welcome in. This is pretty energy. We we give pretty energy over here. So pretty energy, and that's it. But anyway, y'all. So I literally have been picking up my camera like every day this week i kid you not so i'm literally about to give y'all like um like a rant because everything has just been crazy so it is what's today saturday since monday valentine's day like my energy has was just off like it was just completely off because valentine's just started really good and ended really not bad but ended not so good and we'll say that for another time, you know. I'm fine now. But I literally, like, that basically just set the tone for my week. And it was just very, like, I, my energy was just off. And I was so annoyed that my week had just started off like that. So it just kind of threw me off on everything. So it's like I would try to record and I had no motivation. I just started, like, questioning myself, questioning my purpose, questioning my journey, questioning who I am, all type of stuff. I ended up like having one good, like a good start at the beginning of like Tuesday, no, Wednesday. Wednesday, like I took like two days and just like was just racing in my head about certain things, like just tearing myself apart. So come Wednesday, I ended up like, you know, feeling better. Like my energy was a bit better. But then towards the end of the night, like I just started feeling everything all over again. So I just been like in and out of mood swings on a lot of things because it's just so much going on in life in general, just like everybody has a lot going on. It's like nothing that I can't deal with, but it's just a lot. Like you have a lot on your plate and you want to do so much, you want to accomplish so much, you want to get so many things done that you know, you get a bit overwhelmed. So I guess I was a bit overwhelmed this weekend. Like I said, like I just kept trying to pick up my camera and record. Like I have literally so many like blogs started and ended. So many blogs just just combined and I just ended them because my energy wasn't right. I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling myself. I, I wasn't like, I didn't feel pretty. Like I just was just going through it. Well, Monday I was pretty fucking cute, but that's besides the point. Um, but yeah, so I decided to take like, um, a three day break from social media last night. It was like 12, a, like 12 a.m. on, well, 12 a.m. going into Saturday. And I'm like, you know what? I've been picking myself apart, comparing and contrasting my life to other people's life on Instagram. And it's very rare that I do that because I'm the type of person that I truly, believe in what's meant for me is what's meant for me like i pray i trust in god's process so i don't really like compare and contrast my life to anybody else i feel like whatever they got going on is what they got going on their blessings is their blessing and that's like not just for people on the internet that's for like my friends anybody that's around me so i don't really like to feel like that that's not me at all so once i feel like i start feeling like this because this isn't the first time that i had these you know, type of emotions. I'm pretty sure everybody like constantly just, you know, compare themselves to everybody on the internet, where they are now and, you know, that type of stuff. But I don't like to do that. And that's not who I am at all because what I got going on is what I got going on. I can't be looking at anybody else's grass and looking over everybody's fist, seeing what they got going on. That's just not me. I don't like that. So once I realized that, you know, my energy is off and I'm doing, I'm comparing the contrast to other people's life. I like to just take a break and just gather and just, you know, put myself in positive energy, feed off my own energy, feed off my own creativity and my own inspiration. And that's just really how I feel. What else? Um, yeah, it's really, have it's really just been a long week of just, building building myself up tearing myself down because i was giving myself encouraging words throughout the day 
you know, pep talking myself, but then I still feel how I feel. And let me just say this, it's definitely okay to feel how you feel, like allow yourself to feel whatever emotion you're going through so you can overcome it. So I literally went through a heartbreak, in love, heartbreak, in love again, uh, sad, mad, happy, um, confused, like everything. Like I literally felt everything. And no, let me just put this out there, disclaimer, I'm not like in a breakup or anything like that. I'm just, my mind has just like, it just was an off week. Like it started just off. So with that being said, I just kind of wanted to take a break from social media for like three days. So I'm giving myself like a three days hiatus. And I'm just getting my own stuff together because let me tell you, my life is literally the internet. Like I kid you not, like I get on the, I get on the internet, I record, I, I basically like blog on my Instagram, like posting, taking pictures, all of that. Like my life is the internet, which is cool, you know, and I don't really like to be so deep in the internet because I'm telling you like the internet will eat you up and spit you out. Like, and I can't have that. I don't need that for myself because off the internet, like I am very blessed. I live a very good life. I do everything that I, that I want to do. And you know, I'm able to take care of myself and do the things that I want to do. So that's what truly matters. And I have so much love from the internet and from my family and friends that I know that everything's going to be okay. I know that if I need to like fall on somebody, I can fall on any one of my friends or any one of my family members or parents or whatever. So I just try to, you know, like just save my energy, like be in my own peace of mind. Like it's just so easy to get caught up in a lot of things. And I don't want that for myself. That's not me at all. Kobe gives pretty energy, like I said, and pretty energy only. But, so I guess basically y'all are gonna be seeing me these next couple of hours, I guess. However many more hours we got into this three days hiatus is over because I started at 12 a.m. So more than likely Monday, around sometime, I'll be back on the internet giving everything that I need. But this is beautiful because today, like this is something that I don't do. But today when I woke up, I didn't even get, like usually I'll roll over and get on Instagram and like give myself affirmations and pray while I'm on the internet. No, like, I don't know. It's, I don't know if it sounds weird, but yeah. Like I'll say my prayers and then scroll on the internet or whatever. But today I got up and I went for a walk. I went for a walk and enjoyed peace and I enjoyed nature. And, you know, I just explored what was really around me. And it's crazy because we've been staying in this area for so long. And yes, I know that a lot of things are around me, like a lot of establishments and restaurants and all that are around me. But I never realized how close they were until I went walking in the neighborhood today. Like, wow. And that's what I'm saying. I'm so caught up in like everything else that you don't even realize how much is going on out in the world. And even yesterday, I didn't delete my social media like yesterday while I was out, but I was having like such a bad week that you know what I said, I'm going to go shopping. I went to the Galleria and after I did some shopping, I just sat at the bar and I ate some food and I just got like tipsy off of like a ton of champ glasses of champagne and I just felt I felt good but then I came back home and like my mind just started racing again like being on the internet like I don't know it was just it was just crazy like I'm like you know what I was just so happy earlier after I finished treating myself because I'm like okay I'm gonna treat myself to some clothes I'm gonna treat myself to some food and some drinks and I should feel better. And that wasn't the case. I came back home and I was just off once again. So I just wanted to come and tell y'all that, you know, that's what's going on. I feel better now. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel better not looking at Instagram and looking at Twitter and everything else. And I really just been being in tune with myself. That's what's most important. Being in tune with yourself. So this is my encouragement to y'all. If y'all ever feeling down, take a break out. You know, don't give your energy to too many people. 
and just relax. Think about the things that really matter. Journal, listen to music, be in peace, gather your thoughts, and just pray. Praying is amazing. Praying gets you everywhere. And a lot of my friends are always like, oh, you're so secretive. You never tell us anything or what's going on. I don't really tell people what's going on because it's like nobody can really fix my my problems but me. Like nobody's going to have a solution but me and God. Like that's it. So I don't really tell too many people my problem because y'all can't nobody really fix it. I can fix it at the end of the day. And I learned that just over time of growing up, like you vent into people, it's just like, yeah, it's a good thing to vent, but really nobody's gonna have a solution for you but yourself and God. So always pray, always put yourself first, always keep, always protect their energy and just make sure that you're in the right space mentally because mental health is very important because I was just so off this week, y'all. Like it was like one of these days, I just had to turn off everything. Like I had no music, no TV, and I just had to really like sit and just feel how I feel because it was just getting crazy. But like I said, I'm better now. Um, the day is not over with. I went for a walk. Um, I I did some exercising. I came back and did like some push-ups and sit-ups and squats and stuff because I want to be more active in my life and I want a 10 out of 10 body but feeling way much better so super happy um i'm more than likely probably gonna go out and grab a bite i don't know y'all but we'll see even let me tell you another thing that made me know that i was just off my skin my skin started breaking out like ah, a freaking pimple right here is going away I woke up to this on my lip today. Well, so I have another one right here. Mind you, my face hasn't breaking out in like a long time. So once I started realizing, oh, hold on, you know, a lot, a whole lot, a whole lot is just going on and he can't have that. He can't have that. So I had to just, like I said, get myself together. But we shall see what happens in these next couple of hours, like I said. I'll keep y'all updated. I just got the shower. I'm probably, about, I'm probably about to watch some YouTube videos because y'all, I was so, <laughs> we can literally talk for hours and hours, y'all, honestly. So like I said, I have recorded like throughout the day, the other days, every time I try to pick up my camera, but I was off. But one of these days, I'm like, I'm going to take an like, Adderall. I'm going to drink some Red Bull and I'm about to get to work. I'm about to film. I'm about to do something. And my energy, like, I was good. I was good after that. But then I just started going in and out of my head. No, actually, that was the good day. That was Wednesday. And that was a good day for me. Like, I really wasn't worried about too much that day. But once, you know, I just started feeling so creative, y'all. Like, I ended up, like, finding this YouTube channel. Um, I forgot what the person name is, but he was like interviewing like everybody in New York during fashion week. And it just made me feel so inspired. Like it made me really want to get back into my fashion bag, my styling bag, because I feel like I really do have the potential to be a stylist if I wanted to. And it was just so much creativity that I felt throughout that day. I wish I wish I would have like kept the the footage last night, but I got like crazy last night and I just started like deleting everything, decluttering my whole phone, pictures, messages, everything. But I deleted the footage. Anyway, I'm saying that to say like wow, I was so creative Wednesday and I wanted y'all to know that, like oh, yeah, his mind is exquisite. Anyway, that's just me rambling, y'all. But I'm about to watch some videos, probably DoorDash some food. And I do have to run to Walgreens because I do want to get some um, skincare products because this situation is just not going to cut it. So with that being said, I'll catch back up with, I'll catch back up with y'all later. <laughs>
cross, now she wanna give crutch. Boy, you got peas, now she hopping in the pod. Me in the real life, she a gal in my forget what. Who she want up? Tell me, meet me at the top. So she was all the day, I seen her waiting for a bus. Maybe just a month, clear sweater. Diesel, Benham. Buying over with my pockets, fight like ever. Neck froze like I don't know no better. Benzo truck, white seats, and he never. Go bro, never. On my grind, she make it clap like I'm bust around. I got the juicy sauce and all them things. I blammed her twice and I was all my bling. Big Benz, I drive, I brought that team. Any girl you want, they want my team. So I just took some pictures because I got bored and I just started cutting up clothes and making stuff. So I cut up this shirt. It looked crazy right now, but it looked cute when I had like, everything together because I got this hat from Urban Outfitters. And I had on jewelry and stuff, so. But y'all will see the pictures, you know, just trying to keep myself busy and off area and off everything. I've been listening to some music. I'm making some noodles right now just because I just want to eat so I could go ahead and head to bed. Plus, um, it wasn't giving order out again. It just wasn't giving that. So I'm listening to music, fixing me some noodles. I'm about to edit my pictures because I want to put out some content when I do return back to the room, okay? I want to be like, yeah, I was gone for a little minute, but I'm back now, period. So when I drop these pictures, when I drop these pictures, go ahead, double tap, share them, do everything. By the way, like I always tell y'all, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, at really Kobe. okay? The same as the channel name, at really Kobe. I also made another shirt, y'all, too. Like, at the beginning of the week when I was bored, it's really, like, therapeutic to me. And if I knew how to work a sewing machine, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. T. 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 Down, baby. He will learn how to work that sewing machine. Like, I can see it now. Me and my high-rise. Like, you know, the girls, they want a beauty room. Me, I want, like, a closet... Oh, if I had like a three bedroom, I would do like a big old closet full of clothes. And then I would do like a studio, like where I record and where I work. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like I can only dream and manifest. But I'm about to edit my pictures and eat and probably watch House of Gucci because I heard really good reviews about it. And it is on like the on demand thing on the TV. So I'm going to watch that and I'll let y'all know what it's like when I'm done. But if you already watched it, let's talk about it, period. Okay, how's it going, y'all? I really just woke up and it's like, probably like three, going on three. I know I always wake up so late. I've been like that since forever, like since forever, but y'all know that. And Today is Sunday. Today is just giving very much self-care today. I just threw this hat on because I was not getting on this camera with my hair all over my head. But I am um, going to schedule a haircut appointment for Tuesday because I'm most likely going to go back home to Louisiana for a Mardi Gras. For one, just to get like out of this environment. I need like something refreshing and something new. And plus, I miss my, I miss home. Mardi Gras is coming up, like I said. So, you know, who wants to miss Mardi Gras? And more than likely, everybody in Houston is going to end up going to New Orleans. So, ain't nobody going to leave me here. And I'm going to have me a good time and enjoy my life. And I could just use that family, that family, like, time. That would be very great right about now. I'm still doing good on my no social media journey. Oh, uh, what else to say? Yes. So, it really ends Monday. 
And it really ends Monday at like 12 a.m. going into Tuesday. But we, we shall see. I'm not gonna lie, I ran a good course with no social media. 24 hours down and a half of today since I woke up late. But we're doing good. We're doing good. I'm looking for full paper. We are doing good. I'm not tripping at all, period. At all, period. I'm about to make some French toast. But I'm not tripping. It was a good little mental health day I got. I feel like I'm, I feel way better now. Mm. I really hate microwaving my frozen food, y'all. I really do. I really do not like microwaving my frozen food. And all my friends, they talk about me because they're like, oh, they like, you know, you so weird, you so bougie that you put your stuff in the oven. But for one, it's already frozen, okay? You putting it in the microwave is not giving it any higher quality than it already is in like. It's not even, like it's already just frozen, babe. The least you can do is toast it and make it feel like it's got some high quality to it. No shade because those did come from Kroger, but you still taste the fear. Kroger's still selling frozen food. But I'm about to make some of this. Oh, can you, let me back out like so I can see my face. Another thing is we are now going into we are now going into uh, March and the update is I still have not found an apartment. I did find an apartment that I really wanted and I applied for it and I got no response back. And I went back on like the um the app to try to see was it available and it wasn't available. But I'm still manifesting that apartment. Like, I've seen it and it's just, it's in the perfect location. It's the perfect price. It, it's, it's just perfect for me. So I'm gonna keep looking, but I do really want that one. And I have that one like on my, uh, like on my vision board now of things that I want. <laughs> because I really wanna say that. That was a really cute apartment. But yes, um, so when he comes back, she's moving in. I don't know where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be freaking homeless because I haven't gotten a spot yet. Now, to be fair, it's really no rush. Like I know that you know I can still stay with her until I find my place. But I really just don't like. Okay, the lease will be up real soon and i just don't want to stay with her again like i'm ready to just do my own thing and be in my own place because it's just that time so it's really no rush but it's like oh i had a deadline for myself that i wanted to meet and i'm not even gonna eat off these i'm literally just putting these on there and that's crazy but i had a certain deadline that i wanted to meet for me to be in my apartment and I ain't really, I'm not gonna make the deadline, but it's fine because he's still in that apartment, babe, for sure. He's still in that apartment. And yeah, boy, but I haven't really taken y'all on like uh, any house tours with me because of safety purposes. I just would rather not show y'all. And even when it comes to like decorating it, I don't know. I don't know. That type of stuff just low key scared me because it's been plenty of times like since I've been staying like in Houston. Or even when I was visiting Houston, y'all, I kid you not, like people will always find neat address and that shit is just very much weird to me so me personally i just don't plan on showing too much i guess like i know eventually y'all start seeing everything if i'm recording there and if i live there but i just can't have that i just can't have nobody stalking me and stuff like that that's just mad weird and i don't like that energy 
So, I really haven't been showing y'all any ones that I looked at. But, just know, we, be, we will be in our own place, our own environment. Like, y'all, I've been dead ass coming up with, like, different things of how I want to do my uh, apartment. Like, yeah. Coming up with different things, color schemes, looking at furniture, like, I can't wait. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a fun dream. All right, that's that. My skin is still on breakout mode, which I have to get intact for my haircut appointment because I'm shooting content Soon as I get my hair cut, like soon as I get my hair cut, I'm going to shoot some content. And I shot content last night, you know, just for Instagram, just to take some pictures, just to be up to date or like, when I get back on there. And the, it's like, I like to take pictures, then post them right away because the longer you let them sit in your vault, you know, you start to look at them, you start to analyze them. It's like, oh my God, they're not even that cute anymore. Or, you know, at first when I was looking at them, when I first said, I'm like, damn. These are fly, like I'm ready to post them now. Then this morning I looked at them, I'm like, oh my gosh, look at this, look at that. Like, I can't. It's just so easy to tear ourselves apart, child. We gotta stop. But I'm still gonna post them because they are still cute. And I did not go to that Walgreens yesterday. Like I said, oh my gosh. Girl, I'm over here. I don't know what I'm, I'm gonna eat some eggs with these French toast sticks. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, I guess we'll talk later because today is self care Sunday. Like, I'm doing laundry, I'm gonna email some people back because. I've been trying to work, y'all. I've been trying to get in my bag. Working hard. So I'm going to email some people back. I'm going to... Uh, what else am I going to do? I don't know. I, I have a, a couple of things that I need to get done going into the week. I'm going to plan for the week. Because especially if I'm going to go to Louisiana, I need to book my flight like tonight or early tomorrow morning. I got I looked at them, but I don't even remember how much they were, but I'm gonna go to Louisiana most likely, especially because it's supposed to be raining in Houston this week. I don't even wanna be here if it's gonna be raining because that's looking at everybody in the city having a good time and it's raining here in Houston, it just won't work for me. So I'm going to fly home more than likely because it's, it's just, it's just, that's just what needs to happen. But um, I'm about to cook these French toast sticks and I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Okay. So my freaking French toast sticks, they came out really, <laughs> they came out burnt. And see, that's what I'm talking about. Like I can't even cook frozen food. Well, I need to stop saying what I can't do because I can. But y'all, it's me in the kitchen. We just don't work out. We don't work out. But y'all see how I always catch myself when I'm trying to like better? Peacock. Like I always catch myself when I say certain stuff because I just don't like speaking those type of things over my life. But anyway, I came to tell y'all, like let me put y'all onto a, a show, okay? Bel Air on Peacock, like the Fresh Prince Bel Air remake, bomb. Bomb and I started it and I finished it immediately and like I'm caught up. But they only have like four episodes. I don't know what day it usually comes on, but it is a Peacock, um, a Peacock like original. If y'all have that, y'all can go watch that on there, but it is super good. Um, it's definitely my type of show. I always like like teen sitcom, like teen series, drama, that type of stuff. I always been into that. So yeah, ooh, should I finish watching Real Housewives of Miami? Cause that is T2, y'all, let me tell y'all. I was only watching for Larsa, <laughs> to be honest, but it was really good when I was watching it. I haven't, I haven't really been caught up though because I don't know. I don't feel like I've been in the right um, 
mood to get into a good show or a good movie. But I want to watch something good today. I want to get like some snacks and just chill. Like I don't feel like doing nothing today. Like all these other days, I ain't gonna lie. I've been wanting to get out the house, but today I don't feel like doing nothing, baby. I don't feel like doing nothing. But let me see if they have a new episode. Four episodes still. And I don't even know what day it comes out on. It just say new episodes weekly, but whatever that means. But I'm probably going to go get some snacks whenever I head to Walgreens. I'm just dreading leaving the house. And I could, like, Instacart or something, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just tired today. Like, I could go back to sleep, to be honest. But, so, I got something to tell y'all. <laughs> I got something to tell y'all, okay? I just broke my hiatus. I just broke my hiatus, and I just went on Instagram, and I posted my pictures. I did. No self-control. No self-control at all. But listen, though. Listen, seriously, it's cool because I feel like at the end of the day, this is my life. This is my journey. I do what's best for me. I do what works for me. And that's just that. At the end of the day, yes, I broke my hiatus. I didn't have self-control, but I'm learning self-control. And to be honest, I did have a good 24 hours plus of gathering my life and getting my mental right and that's all that matters as long as my mental is right as long as that long as i feel better then that's all that matters okay because i wasn't doing this for nobody else but myself and i'm not y'all like the crazy thing is my heart dropped and i'm like shaking because i don't know i don't know why but yes so i just it was just so tempting, y'all. I just got on Instagram and I just uploaded my pictures. But really, what I did learn from this, though, like, it's more important things to life and than just, you know, having a phone in your hand and scrolling and stuff. Because yesterday, I had a good day yesterday. Like, I really had a full productive day of just doing good stuff. And I'm still going to have a productive day because I'm not going to be like now that i've done that i realized okay now i'm able to limit myself to my social media usage like i don't need to be on social media all day because it really eats your brain alive and you don't get nothing accomplished so with that being said i realized how much i could get accomplished not being on the internet all day scrolling and everything comparing and contrasting whatever the case may be now that i've learned that i think that you know i can implement that into my future and yes, I broke my hiatus, but I learned from it and I'm still learning. I'm still going and I feel good yet a bit like, ooh, shaky that, yeah, I didn't stick to what I said, but it's okay because I had my break. I had my break and I'm still going to get things accomplished and yeah, so you know, don't, I wouldn't say don't be like me because, you know, just do what's best for you because that's what I did. I did what's best for me. And if that was taking two to three days a day, whatever, eight hours, six hours, it don't matter. If that's what, if that's what suits you and fits your life, do that. Don't be having everybody out here make you feel like you got to, you know, do something that you don't want to do. Okay. Because you are in control of your life, baby. You in control of it. So, I did just drop my pictures on a gram. And, you know, it's Sunday. And, yeah, I once I got on there, I really, I really didn't even have the energy to be scrolling and looking at everybody's, like, stories and all that. Like, I really just got on there, posted the pictures, and exited off. Now, see, this is the thing, though. I never deleted the app off my phone iPhone has this feature where you can like remove the app off your phone. So the app was like still downloaded. It just wasn't on my home screen. On my home screen, accessible for me to click on it. And I turned off like all of my notifications. So like I can be notified when people were sending stuff or people are liking a post 
all of that. So this is what happened. This is what happened, but I'm good. I'm still like, oh, shaking up because I just did it. I don't know why, like I've been going for so long or like I just dropped a pregnancy announcement or something, but <sighs> child, 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 child. I will say I will be doing this more often. Like even now, I'm probably still not going to put the app back on my phone because like I said, it's just very much accessible. Just having that, having it right there in your face. And that's not just with Instagram. I say Instagram because that's usually what I'm on mostly, but that goes to Instagram, Twitter, all of that. Like now that it's off my home screen, I feel like, you know, it just won't be in my face. It won't be so tempting for me to just click on and just scroll on constantly. So I did do that. And like I said, I'm gonna keep doing this like probably, probably like once a week. I should probably just do it like once a week. I don't know, we'll see. But I really did enjoy my 24 hours plus, because I really don't know how many hours it's been. I really did enjoy my hours, you know, not being on social media. It was real cool, real chill. I like that. I like that. I gotta start doing that more often. But I'm still having my self-care Sunday. I'm still like going to do like my facial. I'm still gonna wash, um, wash my um, laundry. I'm still going to do my emails. I'm still going to plan and do things that make me happy. And that's what I learned from this all. Do things that make you happy. Do things that make you feel good. Be present in the world, okay? Be present because there's so much going on in the world that you can be doing besides scrolling around on Instagram, just doing that with your life. So that did feel good though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I gotta start doing that more often. But I just had to come and tell y'all that I broke my hiatus and I hope that y'all ain't sad at me. And I hope y'all ain't disappointed at me. Okay? I hope y'all not disappointed at me. <laughs> I literally look nuts. But, y'all, so, if you know and if you've been here before, you understand why I'm always complaining about being in the kitchen because I'm not the best in the kitchen. However, I was super hungry, y'all. And it's like 12 a.m. right now on a Sunday. And I just made salmon and broccoli. Now, I would have did like a little rice combo, but I don't even know how to make rice. And I'm just not, I don't have the patience right now to be trying to learn how to make rice and salmon. But I made salmon for the first time. So far, it looks good. And I just want to try it on camera so y'all can see what really gave, if it's really giving or what. But this, this, let's see. It's good. It's really good. Well, it's decent. Now, what I do want to learn how to do, like, once I start cooking, I really want to know how to take away the fishy taste and, like, seafood because I'm really not into fish that tastes like fish, if you know what I mean. Like, I really don't like that. And I guess I would probably use lemon, but we didn't even have lemon or lemon juice. I know. Ridiculous. But... This is edible. This is pretty nice. Very healthy. It's gonna get the job done. Because I'm about to go to bed because I'm tired and I'm gonna have a productive day. But I will probably make some tomorrow because this is really like quick as hell. So if I make some tomorrow, I'll record it for y'all and I shall see how I did it. Well, I'm about to scroll on TikTok and eat, and I'll see y'all in the morning when I wake so, up. So, what's going on? It's a beautiful day. Y'all, I get my hair cut tomorrow, so if y'all keep seeing me with this beanie on and stuff, just know I'm, like, hibernating my hair. I got to bleach it tonight because I have a haircut appointment tomorrow, and I can't wait, y'all. I can't wait. But uh pretty much this vlog it's been a minute since i had got on the camera and vlog which i let me like sit this down or whatever but 
it's been a minute since I had got on the camera and like blogged and like really talked to y'all, talked to y'all. But that's really what's been going on in my life this well the past week. Uh basically take breaks for yourself. I don't care what it is. Take breaks for yourself, make time for yourself. And that's exactly what I did. I took a lot of time out uh, throughout the week to just reflect, do what I need to do to be a better person. And that's really all that matters. Don't let nobody try to make you feel like, you know, what you do isn't good enough because you are great and everything is going to work out. And that's just what it's going to be. Period. But um thank y'all just so much for tuning in probably the next time y'all see me again i'll most likely be in louisiana for mardi gras but i really really do love y'all and appreciate y'all and all of the support that y'all send my way i'm in much better spirits like i said i feel so much better these days well these last two days <laughs> I'll probably have a breakdown, but that's normal for all of us humans. And yes, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'll catch up with y'all in the next vlog. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. If y'all have any questions or y'all want to give any advice down below, you know, whatever. I mean, not whatever, but I'm saying I appreciate it, but I'm just saying, you know, I was thinking about something while I was saying it, but this is the end. I love y'all. Thank y'all for continuously watching me, tuning in to my vlogs, appreciating the, the content that I give y'all, the uh, authentic conversations, because honestly, I did not edit this vlog by talking about, like, I just gave y'all very much raw and uncut, like, this is what's going on, this is what it is, this is how I've been feeling, I'm keeping it real with y'all. And, you know, we only going to grow from here. We only going to go up from here. We never, we're never settling. We're never going, we're never doing any downgrades. We're not doing none of that, okay? We're not doing none of that. So, with that being said, make sure y'all subscribe. Like I said, turn on your post notifications so y'all can be tuned in when I drop new videos. And I'll see y'all um, in the next vlog. And I'm like mad colorful right now. But, you know, we working. We doing what we need to do, but yeah. <laughs>